Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited because this day, like, you don't understand how this study, like, blew my mind, and that's why I was so excited to put this together and share it, is because it's, yeah. I've had these questions for so long, and God was just like, bam, 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 and I was like, I need to share with someone, so, yeah, so, day, day five, and we're on six, yeah. day six, yeah. we're in the same clothes. Same place. <laughs> We're still here because we need to get some of these videos done. Um, so day six, we had three different Bible verses to read. We so had good. Ecclesiastes one ten, Revelations twenty one two and five, and John. Oh no, what John? I read the wrong. John one six one three. Okay, so we're gonna read all of these on the video because God is just speaking through these verses. So if you've already read them, just join us and listen again. So we got the first one. It is Ecclesiastes 1.10. Is there a thing of which it is said, see, this is new. It has been already in the ages before us. Okay. So we got My Revelations 21, 2 and 5. So this is an answer to Ecclesiastes. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them they will be um, his people and God himself will be with them and be their God he will wipe every tear from their eye there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away so he who is seated on the throne said I am making everything new and he said write this down for these words are trustworthy and true okay and then we have John 1 3 which says, all things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So catchy. You gotta read that one like five times to really grasp it. It's so good. God is making everything new, and God himself will be dwelling with us. Like, no more pain. All the evil in the world is gonna be gone. And God is gonna dwell with us. Like, Wow. I mean, we were made to be in the presence of God with God nonstop. And you only get a glimpse of that, like, you know, when you're really worshiping or whatever. And that's just a glimpse, like, oh, man, amazing. I would amazing. Like when, when David uh, says better one day in his house than a thousand elsewhere, it's so true. So true. Yeah, that is our hope, and that's what we do to <laughs> in these hard days and working through life, you know, that's what we got to cling to. And It's really easy to lose sight of that and feel the hopelessness, though, because, like, if you're not reminding yourself, I had forgotten about this part of the study, and <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. And so to reread it again and remind myself, oh, that's right. That's why I was so excited about it. And that's why I'm like so on fire for this study because God is making it new and he's going to dwell among us one day. Like, oh. wow. I, and it's one thing to think about us dying and going to heaven, but to imagine God making it all new and dwell, like him coming down and dwelling with us is just, it'll be awesome. Yeah. So exciting. So, our lettering for the day was... Wait. I'm just telling you, while you're sitting... You know what we did? <laughs> Wait. While you sit and listen to this, it's the best time to sit there and, like, do your little doodle or lettering oh, or yeah. whatever okay. while you're doing it. And so, I'm just saying, it is. He makes all things new. So, I mean, like, you could totally go with, like, plants and trees because... That was good today. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Continue on. <laughs> Okay, so um, we also want to look at Mark 2, 22, if you don't mind pulling okay. that out. Okay, got it right here. We are new wine skin, and new wine is poured into us. So as I was saying, that we want to like um, keep pouring into the scripture so that he can refill us. Because wine skin is used, and you don't want to become dry and brittle, because if you leave it, it dries out and can crack and ruin. So be poured into Okay, so Mark 2.22 says, And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the, new, the skins, and the wine is destroyed, and so are the skins. But new wine is for fresh wineskins. So, I mean, you know, 
like, I feel like that can also get applied to, like, you know, once you're saved, you don't want to put yourself back in your old situations, like, you would both just be destroyed, right? But you want to have your new life in Christ and have it centered around that. So our lettering for today is um, something. I don't have the paper. I just took it. <laughs> but um, it's in your email and it is also in the description below. So make sure to letter and uh, tag us and do hashtag heirs of love. My little bunny here. <laughs> um, and we will see you for tomorrow's devotional. Just really soak up these verses, though. They're like the way things, I've switched things around and added a lot to it that God was speaking to me from multiple devotionals. Um, but he was saying the same thing. And so that's where this, how this got created and came about. So, um, just really soak it in and you might go back and look at our other day's verses and, um, you know, compare it to the first Peter verse from day two, add that in here. It's, um, really good stuff and we'll see you tomorrow.